Hello lovely people. Hi. Today we're going to do a DNA test. Well we did the DNA test. Right? We already did that the was DNA great test. fun. Took about how long did it take you to like Shh. Well, you know, we will find out why did it maybe take Jessica so long to produce two mils of saliva? Was it even two? Was it one? I don't know. That is not no, indeed what this intro was meant to be about. We're hoping it's going to tell us things about like our like ethnic ancestry. Indeed. Or we also took the health component to find out whether we might when have we're going to die. <laughs> yes, the precise date and time. I'm a little we want the spoilers. I'm apprehensive about the health markers, to be honest. Oh, because, really? Yeah. Maybe it's different because like. Like, you already live with a lot of ailments. See, this is hilarious. So maybe I if you found out something else, you'd be like, ooh, we're just one for the list. Yeah. But you know, I'm like fit and well, and I'm like, no, 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 and all the forms all the time. Now I'm gonna be like, oh my god, no, but I do know that I have a predisposition. In the future, yeah. Maybe. Mm-hmm. <gasps> I already know I have two genetic disabilities. So when we sent off our tests, it was on exactly the same day, but Claudia's results came back a full week before mine. And I was like, oh, maybe they and just. My- can't test my DNA. Yeah. It might they were like, been... there's something real wrong with this one. Might not have been to do with that. Maybe I just had a really efficient lab, lab man <laughs> and you had a really efficient, like not such an efficient lab man. It's very gendered. I, well, I had to go with this. I was going to say you had a, well, I was actually going to say I had a very efficient lab man and you had a very inefficient lab woman. And I thought that was even worse because actually I was trying to make it gender fair and then realized I already made it discriminatory. <laughs> so I should have, anyway. <laughs> There was no, so I had to make them the same gender. Wow. And it went on in my head and then you still pointed out my flaws. God, I'd hate to be a politician. It's okay, we have your flaws are genetic and we'll find out in a minute. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. Don't blame me, it's my gene. <laughs> so, what are we expecting to find out in these results? I mean, I don't think I'm expecting to find out anything I don't know. One thing, uh, <laughs> really? Well, in terms of the ancestry, I mean, like, yeah, I'm half Chinese and half, and my mum's Chinese Malaysian. Yeah. And I'm half English. But Chinese, Malaysian, ethnically fully Chinese. Well, you see, I think, well. like, I think my mum's family don't look like mainland Chinese people. So it's almost like ethnically. But make- when you say mainland Chinese people, you mean Han Chinese people. Yeah. Because you already know that they're from the Canton region. Yeah, exactly. It could just be that. I've always, my mum always just said, oh, it's because we migrated from the Canton region. So we already look different. But I'm like, yeah, but your skin's darker. <laughs> you know, and like, like I that. think you're Babanonia. Yeah, I've always thought maybe. And then we went to that house, didn't we? In um, where is it? Malacca. Yes. Went to the Babanonian house, Peranakan house. Peranakan. Yeah. Yes. Peranakan. And um, and we were like looking at pictures. And we were like, God, that woman really looks like your mum. Oh my God, that one really looks like your mum. That one looks like your mum. And I was like, maybe my mum was Babanonian. Indeed. Please explain Babanonian people, though. <laughs> oh God, I don't know. I'm gonna get it wrong. Pretty sure we made a video about it. We did. <laughs> <laughs> we did! You can linked up here, there you go. I think it's when the Chinese men came from Canton region to work in Malaysia and they would marry or you know, I think they assumed they married, but maybe they just produced offspring with the local Malay women. Yes. Producing and, families. And who then were... Babanonian was then that group of people, that group of ethnicity that then was created. They had their own little traditions and mm-hmm. they brought the Chinese traditions, mixed it in with the Malaysian traditions, which I think is kind of almost marks like, in my mind, I'm like, well then isn't that kind of like the Chinese Malaysian heritage? But they would say no, apparently. <laughs> so I don't know, it's all been a bit confusing. It's all been a bit confusing. So it's going to be very exciting. And the other half of you is just English. Although <laughs> we can trace that back to Normandy, which is Northern France. But I mean, France and England were all the same at one point anyway, so. I mean, I think if we go back to 1066, we're pushing it. I don't know. I always think the more the better, you know? Yeah, really mix it up. Yeah, when people are like, pure this, like, you know, or whatever, like, we're 100% English. It's like, so? That's I not mean, a- anything to be proud of. Look at the Habsburgs. <laughs> And what do you like, what do you think you'll find out about yours? What do you expect the results to be? I am expecting my results to say that I am 100% Northern European of various description. Okay. Including Russia. So my, of my four grandparents, I would say that two of them are from 
England, North England. I don't think they ever went anywhere else, so okay. I guess from there. And the other two... <laughs> you know, jeans doesn't work like that. So like, where are you going? <laughs> you can just collect it. No, them. okay, sorry. I mean, I don't think their ancestors really went anywhere else or came from anywhere else. Okay. They were just, just there. They were just born in Wigan. They were, that was it. Yeah. That, they were there, okay? And then my other two grandparents, one of them was American, but half Irish and half Swedish, mm -hmm. but American, mm -hmm. in the but way that, that American people So then you from, might not have, so you won't have like any, Amer there won't be any Americans, like American isn't a thing. Well, like Native American is obviously a thing. Well, yeah. But I don't, I'm not, you there have, would not be, I'm not assuming there will be any Native American in there, no. no. Then my other grandparent was half Swedish and half Russian, so. Okay, so again, that kind of, <laughs> you're gonna be all from one area, really. Yeah. <laughs> but it'll still be interesting. Okay. Oh, no, I want the knife. I don't think you're safe to have one, but... Also, you've got dog right in front of you. People will always say, don't let Jesse use a knife, remember? When you had them, they all sent you like three, we got like three letter openers in our PO box that year. Everyone was like, use this, Jessica. <laughs> Jessica, you appear very unsafe with that knife on camera. I'm like, ah, that's very bad. <laughs> well, you're cutting towards yourself. I'm a skilled professional. <laughs> Okay. <gasps> Welcome to you. I feel like we're in one of those weird Ooh. utopian dramas right now. Fun, fun. Hi. Hi. Goodness, things that we are in no way We should be with. very proficient at this <laughs> after the amount of COVID swabs and lateral flows we've had to do over the last two years. Oh. Well, how much saliva do they want us to produce? <gasps> oh, apparently it can tell if you have genetic variants associated with certain health conditions. I'm really intrigued if mine's going to come back and just be like, no, could not read. It says no field drink for 30 minutes and I just had like two ginger biscuits. I've had like okay, 30 minutes, have you? I have not drunk anything in 30 minutes okay. and it's honestly been really hard. Really oh, so hard. you've got to fill there to there? Oh, okay. Yeah, don't worry. There's just I this I feel like half the tube <laughs> of spit and I was like, oh my god, I'm going to be so parched. I'm going. <laughs> I mean, how much have you got so far? <laughs> sure. I'm almost to the line. Are you still trying to generate it? Oh, okay, I'm done. I'll get my results back whilst you're still sat in the line. <laughs> Move your tongue back and forth and stuff. Ooh, I can't, it's too dry. <laughs> Yeah, because you've got to drink that. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Well, this has been lovely, darling, but I don't really want to sit here whilst you're just gathering spit for the next 30 minutes. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Bye. Okay, who's going first? Do Probably like, be the, like, the most paper, boring. Let's do a paper. Oh, uh, rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, that's it. I knew what, you, you knew what I meant. Ready? Do we, just one hand. One hand. One, two, three. Oh, okay, we do it on four. Okay, you saw what I did already. Actually, how should I so, see? So we do one, one, two, three, and then release on four. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> one, two, three, four. <laughs> That's so predictable. All right, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Woo! I won. Okay. Like, oh my first. god. We're gonna start with ancestry. Dun dun dun. Your DNA suggests your ancestry is 38.5% Chinese. Oh. And ties with five other populations. Surprising. No, mm. not surprising really. Wait, what? Wow, look, it shows it no. on the map. Because look on the map, it's saying I'm, I've got Europe, that part of me, that yeah. Northern European part, <laughs> and then I've got this like Southeast Asian part, which is what exactly what I know. Really? Oh, interesting. My mum always said she was from the Canton region, but she says it's from the Guangdong. And one other region. Oh, right. You might want to click on that. We found the strongest evidence of your ancestry in the following two regions. Guangdong and... Which I don't think Canton exists anymore. So I think that was... I think that was Canton. Ah. And Shandong. Wait, which generation moved to Malaysia? My gra my mother's grandparents, I think. Okay. So your great-grandparents? Yeah. Oh, yeah, see, look. 7% <laughs> Indonesian, Thai, or Myanmar. 2.4% Vietnamese, and <laughs> broadly Chinese and Southeast Asian. I mean, what does that even mean? Is but it's mean? interesting that my mum was unaware that she didn't have any historical, like, she didn't have any knowledge of the family line of anyone having in her family not being Chinese. Yeah. And yet that was probably the case. Maybe they were half Chinese. They oh, were, yeah, they were, yeah. Like, maybe the person that married into my, my mum's family was half Chinese, half Indonesian or whatever. And then you are 50% European. 50% European. European. Oh my gosh. And 1.4% Ashkenazi Jewish. 24% is British Irish and 24% is French German. So that very much suggests that one of my grandparents was not 
English, like British. Like yeah. one of them was, that's probably the 24% that was, British Irish. Yeah. And then the 24% was French German. Ah, uh, I know. My grandmother is like from the East End and all her family, I think some of them came from, I, I think there's some kind of thing about being Irish at some point. Okay, well that would be your grandmother. I think that's but my then your grandfather side. would be the French, French German. German. Yeah, which is where the Fozart name they traced it back to Normandy. Right, so your father's father would be the one with French, French and German ancestry. Ancestry. Okay, okay, so no massive surprises. I find that very interesting. Yeah, so now I can tell people, well, I'm a quarter French and German. Oh, I'm actually only a quarter British. I'm only a quarter British, yeah. There you go, that's look at true. that. true, yeah. That's what my genes are saying. All right. Let's find out. <laughs> um, it's very blue. You did say you're going to be from Northern Europe. Let's have a look. I was like, it's going to be. It's going to be just on that it's part. It's going to be very map. white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just. I, I am 99.9% .9 European. Yeah, we kind of knew that. You're 12% Eastern Eastern European. European. Oh, no, no, no. that's the Russian part, I guess. There is, yeah. Russia then, is included. Yes. Eastern European. Break it down. We've right. got Northwestern European. 87. 7.1%, which is British and Irish, 60%. Makes Probably your sense. father's side, plus 10% on your father's Irish, side. which would be my grandmother's, grandmother's father. Side. Yeah. But look, it even tells me which regions of the UK. Oh, I didn't have that bit. Well, sorry. <laughs> Not enough people with my <laughs> genes have uh, tested, obviously. <laughs> Yorkshire, Tynan <laughs> Weir. I mean, you knew that, didn't you? Yeah, that's basically, this is the area of my father's yeah, people. Your northern, your northerners. Although you're probably, if you're not from the UK, looking at this map and being like, how is That's this northern? North. Yeah. It appears to be in the centre of this island. Northern it's fine England. to be confused by that. That's northern England. Yes. Yeah, there's a there's a line. Yeah. And then look, this is so bizarre. From John Coping. John Coping. John Coping County. It's where my grandfather's father's from. Oh, well, there you go. You know, it's exactly. so precise. That's really quite. That's really well done. Yeah, that is. My gosh. I've actually been there. Yeah. And I've been to the house that my grandfather lived in while he when he was a small boy. Cool. In that area. Like it's yeah. So you didn't wow. need to do a genetic test to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> We're only eight point eight percent Scandinavian. Yeah. There. You wow. thought you'd be higher, I think, didn't you? Because you're always like, I'm so I'm like quarter Swedish. I should be quarter Swedish. But you're not, you're only eight point eight percent. But Both could... of my grandparents were half Swedish, right? It should be half. Well, were they? Well, were they? Dun dun dun. Hang on. Oh yeah, 12.8% Eastern European. And then Eastern, Eastern, Eastern oh, yeah. European. Which is the Russian part. So you're actually more Russian than you are Swedish. Yes. Yeah. I am more Russian than Swedish. Oh. So that's okay. interesting. So what did we learn? Was Nothing. it interesting? <laughs> uh, <laughs> We learnt that you're actually only a, a ethnically a quarter British. Yes, that was interesting. And we learnt that I'm boring. And I've got a bit of Vin Vietnamese in me, so I like faux. <laughs> it's fine. It's we, in my we're jeans. not going to respond to Jessica's joke and be like, oh. no, Jessica, you're not boring. No, it's fine. No, you're not boring. Moving on. Let's go to our health predispositions. Oh, yeah, I'll get mine out. Get yours time. out. Okay, it got... starts with the things that we're actually at risk of. Age-related macular degeneration, which means like you're gonna lose vision in your eyes as you get older. Makes sense. I mean, like everyone in my family wears glasses apart from me. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> you're just just like variant not detected, variant not detected. You are ridiculously healthy. Apart from out of here. apparently have the variant for hereditary hemochromatosis, which is the absorption of too much dietary iron. Yeah, you've got the opposite to me. I'm always prone to anemia. You got, you're true. prone of getting iron overload. I'm gonna apparently, between my age now and... You're really miffed that it says typical likelihood, but it says typical likelihood. It's not like you're anything special. Oh, I see, like, so everyone has a likelihood of getting diabetes. Yeah, you just have the typical likelihood. Oh, okay, that's it, okay. We'll right. find out about our Neanderthal amount. You have less than 2% Neanderthal. I have more Neanderthal DNA than 53% of other customers. They found they ha I had 239 variants that trace back to Neanderthals. I have 241. I'm more Neanderthal than you. What does it say about these things then? Is it the same as mine? No, different. <gasps> Just weird. I have 
have the variant associated with not feeling angry when hungry. That's true. Angry. Oh I my, don't get, I get hangry. I so much. I don't, and you really do. Uh, well, wow. this, this report highlights associations between your Neanderthal variants and your traits. Oh yeah, because even though you've got variants, I've got different variants to you. Yes. <gasps> Oh my god, so they, this takes, tells you your core, like, caveman instinctive behaviours, basically. I've got one variant associated with being more likely to have an apple-shaped body than a pear-shaped body. You have neither. I have one variant that I'm more likely to have a fear of public speaking. This is true, it's very true. Wow. You're having, what's yours say? I apparently have a variant associated with having a worse sense of direction. The next one says you have two variants associated with being yeah. less likely to have fear of heights. I do not have a fear of heights, do so not. that is indeed true. I have one variant associated with being a better sprinter than a distance runner. You also have a variant associated with being less likely to prefer salty foods over sweet. Nah, no, that's not true. I am less likely to have a hitchhiker's thumb. What's a hitchhiker's thumb? Is it straight, like a straight thumb? Is it an what angle? What is a hitchhiker's... Oh! And yours is straight up? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Kind of oh have, my right? god. I have four variants associated with being a better sprinter than distance runner. That weirdly that is true. Four? Yeah. yeah. In games at school, I was much better at sprinting than I was at any kind of distance. Well, <gasps> apparently I have I have one variant associated with being less likely to have stretch marks. Oh, apparently I have dandruff. You have more dandruff. <laughs> I don't have dandruff. It sounds like more likely. Dandruff. Oh yeah, you don't have stretch marks. I don't. And we knew this because like we've always like Because you got pregnant and didn't get stretch yeah, marks. Everyone was always like, oh, did your mum or sister get stretch marks? And I was like, no. And they're like, oh, you probably won't either because it's genetic. You know how people always throw that around, like, oh, because it's genetic, but you don't really know why. It comes back to our Neanderthal <laughs> day. Oh, oh, that's interesting, though. Public speaking, I mean, that's in my... Now I can be like, I'm really sorry, but, like, you got to blame the Neanderthal in me. <laughs> <laughs> So there we go, we learnt many eye-opening things about ourselves today. I mean, I've like, genetically predisposed that I don't like public speaking. Which is very, very true. Um, I could be a sprinter. You could. You also have a lot of dandruff. I do not! <laughs> I just could, could, but I don't. Yeah. You are French. 25% potentially. French and German. <laughs> yeah. And you are um, only 8% I'm Swedish. I'm kind of Eastern European. Kind of Eastern European. <laughs> we kind of... <laughs> I mean, are any of us anything really? No. No. We're, we're all, all Neanderthals We're all apparently. the same. No, we're less than 2% Neanderthal, darling. Well, I'm 53% more Neanderthal than... But thank you so much for watching us. If you have enjoyed, let us know in the comments down below. Also, if you found out anything really interesting from a DNA result. Fascinating, absolutely fascinating. I think the most exciting things that people find out are like long lost relative. That I mean, would be fascinating. We didn't go. We didn't on, even look at we that. We didn't go into that bit. Yeah, right. We'll do that. We'll do next. that later. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you can follow us on Instagram at Jesse and Claude, and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.